Hi, this is Eric Janesco with your Business Acceleration E-Zine for December 2011. And this month's issue we've called Planning to Win. You know, we all know how we can sometimes get stuck in that cycle or that pattern of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And You know, we've all heard Einstein's famous definition of insanity. It, 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 the problem here is you've got to be very careful not to dismiss something like this just because you hear it all the time. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of power in a cliche like this. The practical reality is if it weren't fundamentally true, would it have been repeated enough times that we would ignore it? And so this year, if you want to make 2012 different, here's some keys that you can use. Three simple steps that will guarantee you hit the volume and the numbers that you want to hit for 2012. So let's get right into it. You know, it really comes down to the funnel of, of what uh, my good friend and mentor, Rene Rodriguez, calls sales math. Um, at the end of the day, we start with a big bucket of leads and they filter down into people who might have some awareness or interest in what we provide. Then it comes down to who qualifies and whether or not we can secure a commitment from them. Once we move from commitment to then closing, uh, then we can potentially look at referral or repeat business. So, you know, if you, if you looked at just rough numbers Numbers, whatever your numbers are, at some point to get one deal, you can work it backwards and figure out exactly where you need to be. Now, for most of us in the industry, you could, for example, use these numbers. If you want to get one closed deal, you've got to talk to one and a half people who are going to write a contract or put in a full loan application. To get uh, one and a half full loan applications, you got to have basically two and a half appointments. To get two and a half appointments, you need to find five people who have a definite need to benefit from a mortgage or from buying or selling a property. And to get five leads, how many out of, uh, you know, how many people do you have to talk to to find five people that have some sort of need to either save money via refinance, restructure their mortgage for other reasons, or buy a new home or sell a home. Um, you know, so you know, let's say it takes 25 people. I mean, you know, the practical reality is if you look at the numbers in our real estate, in the mortgage or real estate business, um, you know, the average life of a mortgage is 29 months. The average time of home ownership, according to national statistics, most recently, is a little over five years. So, if you know, I mean, think about. It. The people you put in a home five years ago, for example, if you're a realtor, the people you put in a home five years ago, what might be, maybe has changed in their life over the last five years? Maybe they've had a couple of additional kids. Uh, maybe their kids are going to different schools because they're different age ranges now. Maybe they've changed jobs and their commute is different and therefore the home they're in no longer meets their needs. At the end of the day, how many out of 10 people are in a position where the home they're in is no longer the home they need to be in. So that creates an opportunity and it's just simply a matter of figuring out how to filter through it. You know, it's kind of like breathing. I mean, take this analogy for just a second. If you're uh, if you went to your doctor and he took your blood pressure and he said, "Wow, this is ridiculously high. You need to fix this." And he turned around and walked right back out of the exam room. You'd be kind of ticked with him, right? In fact, your blood pressure would probably be even higher at that point because you don't necessarily know how to fix your blood pressure. But you fire that doctor, you go to the second doctor, and the second doctor says, wow, your blood pressure is really high. You really need to fix this. So he says, okay, here's what I want you to do, Joe. I want you to take some time. I want you to do some slow, deep breaths with me. In fact, all of you do it with me now for just a second. Five count in, five count out. Ready? So you get the point, right? You do a couple of slow deep breaths. The doctor says, I'm going to give you a few minutes, put on some relaxing music. I want you to continue this pattern while I check with a couple of other patients and I'll be back to you in a few minutes. Lo and behold, he comes back, checks your blood pressure and you're exactly where you should be. So what's the breathing here? I mean, the practical reality is he gave you an exercise that fixed your blood pressure problem and he told you how to do it. So what's the breathing of a steady flow of business? You know, whether you're in the mortgage or real estate industry, it doesn't really matter. We all work 60 to 90 days ahead. I mean, if we wake up February 1st, it's a little late to do anything about the volume we're going to close in February and therefore the paycheck we're going to receive late February, early March, right? 
So what are the things we need to be doing on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to make sure that our February, our March, our April are the volume that we want to be doing during those time frames? Well, one of them is planning knowing what your numbers are. And, and it comes back to this old analogy of, you know, begin with the end in mind. If you want to go from somewhere to someplace else, you at least have to determine what the someplace else is. You've got to set a target for what you want to hit. So our strategy and what we do with our coaching clients is we one of the very first things we do is we look at what do you want your numbers to be? What kind of income do you really want to be making? So I want to challenge you right now to maybe even pause this video, grab the tool that we've attached along with this video, or if, you, if you're watching this on YouTube and you've picked this up and you're not a regular customer of ours, give us a call. We'll be happy to get you access to these tools. Uh, but the whole idea here is take five minutes to plan out what exactly you want your numbers to look like using this volume goals worksheet. Well, in this example, based on these numbers, you'd need to do three leads a week to generate the kind of volume that you want to generate. So the next question becomes, okay, every week my job is to get three leads a week. If I get to Thursday afternoon uh, or Thursday midday and I don't have my three leads for the week, what do I need to do? Well, I need to get on the phone and, and find some other people to talk to. Maybe it's touching base with my past clients and talking to them about what maybe has changed over the last couple of years since I helped put them in a home or last did a refinance of their mortgage. Maybe it's talking to them about who they know that may have had a change in, in the number of children they have or where they're working job-wise or um, they're making a lot more money or they're making a little bit less money and maybe they're a little bit squeezed budget-wise and would need some help and with the mortgage being such a significant part of somebody's budget, maybe there's an opportunity there with the fact that you know interest rates are in the low fours today versus mid sixes two three years ago um, you know there's a lot of opportunities to help some people and and then really that's kind of what I'm talking about here the next step is then okay let's get creative about ways that we can reach a bigger audience now think about it from this perspective if you're going after talking to people you're fishing right you're going out to try and find people who need some help um, so we have a couple of options you know we can fish with a rod and reel or we can fish with a net now fishing with a rod and reel can be a lot of fun but there's a lot of things that can go wrong that keep the fish in the water instead of in the boat right so what if we fish with this Do you think we have a real a more probable or more practical chance of catching a couple of pounds of fish a day and being able to feed our family more effectively but what if we cast a bigger net? What if we reached out to a larger group of people in a shorter period of time? Now, can you do that by yourself? The, the thing I want to challenge you to think about is all the opportunities that are out there. Um, you know, in, in think about the big circle that we talk about with people. I mean, how is it, how many people do you know that, that maybe you've put in a home in the last 12 months that have a tax deductible event because they bought a home and they paid some origination points? Of course, with the new 2010 GFE, um, you know, all of it basically falls under origination, right? So there's a bigger tax deduction than there has likely ever been before when people bought or refinance a mortgage. Well, what if you sent out a letter to all of your past customers with a copy of their um, HUD statement that shows the origination points they paid, and you encourage them to send that to their CPA to remind their CPA that they need to take a tax deduction? And in the letter, you, you said, oh, by the way, if you don't have a great CPA, give me a call. I'll be happy to introduce you to somebody. Now, all of a sudden, you're connecting to, you know, how many people have you put in a home or how many loans have you done this year? 50, 80, 100, 150 people? How many out of 150 families that you've helped could be a referral to a CPA? And what's the likelihood that if you handed 10 new customers to a CPA this tax season, that he wouldn't be much more probable to introduce you to the couple of families he's working with over the next four months that probably could benefit from refinancing their mortgage or buying another home? You know, it's the circle of opportunity of how we connect with people. So this, the third step in this process, once you decide what your goals need to be and you decide a course of action to take to get you there, and oh, by the way, if you're struggling with what's the next best step for you with going after some, uh, some great opportunities, give us a call. We'll be happy to walk you through it. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is figure out where you want to go. What's the key to keeping on track throughout 2012. 
Well, there's a law called the Hawthorne Effect, and it says what gets measured gets done. In other words, track it. Find out what you're doing on a weekly basis. Set a specific target. At the end of the day, focus on doing more this week over last week because when you start looking at that progress and celebrating and rewarding your progress as opposed to beating yourself up for what you didn't do, you're going to be more energized. You're going to have more value to share with your past clients. So here's a simple tool you can use every week. Print off a copy of this. You know what your number of calls is that, you, that you're trying to target. You know how many people you want to try and reach out to. You know what your volume is each week. So if I make 12, 15 phone calls and, and 12 connects and I get three leads a week, I'm going to know whether I'm on track or not. Look at where they come from, what kind of objections I'm facing, what were my results. And that'll also give me better, more accurate numbers to adjust my plan throughout the year. At the end of the day, it's about knowing where you're at and shooting forward it, towards it. So here's the last thing I want you to think about. Ask yourself these three quick questions. What was the most valuable thing you've heard in this short video? Second, what action do you need to take right now to make this a part of your daily business? And set a target date. By when will you have that action implemented? All right, as always, I just want to wrap up with just a quick reminder that if you'd like any additional help with reaching the 2012 that you want to reach, we'll be happy to help anybody. So simply give us a call. Our coaching team would be happy to schedule a strategy session for you where we'll take a look at one of your bigger challenges. We'll help you plan out a specific action strategy with some accountability and tie-ins to it. We'll give you all the tools and resources you need to be able to make something happen for yourself. And of course, it's just the simple, easiest way we've found to help you understand whether coaching is the right next best step for you in reaching your goals. So give us a call. There's no cost, no obligation, just something we want to offer to you as a gift. Short of that, I want to thank you and congratulate you and wish you the best of holiday seasons from all of us here at Maximum Acceleration. I want to thank you for all you've done for us this year to make 2011 a great year. And we look forward to working with you throughout 2012 to make 2012 the best year ever for you, your family, and your clients. Thank you and make it a great year.